We're told that the Central Business District is seeing some unrest in Accra because the local traders are up in arms with their foreign counterparts. Question, why isn't the GIPC law working? And today they intend to hit the streets. Yesterday they locked some of the shops with padlock. So, uh, attention, Ministry of Trade and Industry, this is for you. Let the laws work and let peace prevail if we have ECOWAS protocols. Let's look at them again. Good morning to you, Honorable Alan Tremanti, your Minister for Trade and Industry. A big good morning to you. We're watching. And uh, we have been joined by Commander Yusif Benin. He is the Acting Director of ECOWAS Multinational Maritime Coordination Center, uh, Zone F. We're talking about uh, piracy on our seas, especially in the Gulf of Guinea, because uh, we're told that earlier in July, some sailors, Turkish sailors, were abducted. No ransom has been demanded as yet, but it's getting murkier by the day. Commander, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing, sir? Uh, good morning. Great. What has necessitated the MOU that will be signed on the 25th of July? Okay, uh, first of all, uh, let me say good morning to your cherished listeners mm -hmm. uh, and cherished viewers. Um, First of all, um, the uh, ECOWAS and ECAS heads of states mm. um, in 2013 mm. uh, recognized the need to work together to deal with the growing uh, maritime insecurity challenges that are confronting the region. Mm. Because over the years, um, we have come to realize that individually, we don't have what it takes to effectively police and then deal with the growing threats of piracy, mm. you know, illicit trade, right. and then most importantly to illegal, uh, you know, unreported, unregulated fishing practices, mm. which is taking a lot of our resources mm. away from the countries uh, of the Gulf of Guinea. Mm. So, uh, pursuant to that, the, uh, the Gulf of Guinea mm -hmm. uh, area was divided into uh, zones okay. so that the countries can work together. So, the whole of the Gulf of Guinea, starting from uh, the uh, Economic Committee of Central African States mm -hmm. region and mm -hmm. the Equus region was divided into five maritime zones. We have Zone A, mm -hmm. that is Angola, okay. uh, uh, Democratic Republic of, of Congo, mm -hmm. and then uh, Congo Brazzaville. Okay. Then we have Zone D, that comprises Cameroon, Gabon, Satome, and Principe. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have Zone E, we have uh, Nigeria, uh, Togo, mm -hmm. Benin, and then Niger. Okay. And for Zone F, we are talking about countries Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, Liberia, mm -hmm. Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Burkina Faso. And for Zone G, we are talking about uh, Guinea-Bissau, Gambia, Senegal, and then uh, Equatorial, uh, uh, Cape Verde Islands. Okay. So these are the zones. These and the in zones. each zone, mm -hmm. to coordinate the activities of uh, the countries, mm -hmm. we need multinational maritime coordinating centers. Okay. And so uh, that for Ghana, Zone F, is uh, being hosted by Ghana, and we are located at the Osu Castle. Okay. And what we essentially do is that we serve as the eyes and ears of the uh, member states mm. in policing their maritime space. Okay. So we conduct monitoring and surveillance to ensure that we maintain complete maritime situation awareness uh, to you know, provide information mm. for effective maritime law enforcement and maritime governance. Mm. So uh, to do this more effectively, uh, one of the ways is to have a memorandum of understanding okay. on how you know, the center can mm. coordinate mm. the activities of the various uh, maritime law enforcement agencies across the country mm. at the national, at the regional and international level. Who, who, which countries are we signing this MOU with come uh, the 25th? Okay, the member countries of the MMC Zone F, which I've already talked about, okay. are Ghana, mm. uh, Cote d'Ivoire, Liberia, mm. Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Burkina Faso. Mm. And so uh, the uh, chiefs of navies mm. of the member countries of this uh, 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 maritime zone F are meeting in Accra uh, on 25th, precisely mm. at the Alista Hotel, to you know uh, sign an MOU which okay. has been in the process. Mm. Uh, we first started the drafting in way back in March, okay. and uh, the first draft was uh, put together by op maritime operational experts drawn from uh, member countries mm. uh, of Zone F. Okay. And after that, the draft MOU was sent back to the uh, member countries for mm. their inputs. Okay. And then they brought back their inputs. The inputs were put together. 
again and reviewed mm. by Center for Maritime Laws Africa. Okay. And after that, the document was sent to the ECOWAS Commission what, what, for review. What would the signing of this MOU mean to the ordinary person living in Ghana or any, any other countries that will sign on to this pact? Well, very well. Uh, the MOU signing, first of all, uh, does a number of things. First, it will uh, bring our cumulative uh, resources okay. and energies to bear in the fight against, you know, piracy mm. and related maritime crimes within our uh, area of operations. Mm. And then, two, it also, you know, uh, help us to bring our effort in legal prosecution of offenses. Okay. Because what we notice is that uh, sometimes uh, uh, countries have issues uh, at their end, but the crime must have started from another mm. country and mm. it ends up in another country. Right. So we can share evidences and then that will enhance legal prosecution. And mm -hmm. then we are also able to then do what we call joint coordinated patrols mm -hmm. to ensure that criminals don't take advantage of, you know, the fact that, you know, the sea is a, a continuous area. Right. So if Ghana, for example, launches maritime operations, the uh, criminals can easily just shift to, say, Cote d'Ivoire. Okay. So this time around, we want to have a coordinated okay. approach mm -hmm. in, uh, you know, sweeping mm -hmm. the area to ensure that only those who are... Uh, legitimate rights to you know do business as right. sea remain as sea. Then the, it will lead to increased sharing of information mm -hmm. uh, to ensure that we have a common picture okay. across board on what is ongoing as sea, mm -hmm. so that then we can uh, introduce more mm -hmm. uh, you know policies and uh, regulations to ensure that the our seas are better protected. I, I'm us. looking at some statistics that I saw. 27 crew members uh, were abducted in 2018 mm. in that same period from January to June. Yeah. And then in this year, we've had 25 already. What will change with the signing of this pact? Yeah, exactly. Will That's the numbers reduce? Will it be uh, a thing of the past? Hopefully, the numbers will reduce. Um, first of all, like I said, uh, now, with the establishment of the maritime coordinating centers, mm -hmm. what is happening is that when there's an incident in any part of the Gulf of Guinea, we get alert. Okay. We pass the information to the maritime law enforcement mm -hmm. agency. I'm talking about the Navy, mm -hmm. Marine Police, Air Force, okay. and uh, all the other related maritime agencies. Right. This then leads to increase in their response time because you have early warning of uh, developing crime, mm -hmm. and then they prepare to intercept. Right. Uh, let me say that this year, around uh, April, mm -hmm. there was an incident in Togo. Okay. Uh, where Paris tried to hijack a vessel mm -hmm. from the Togo Anchorage and take it uh, further east towards Nigeria. So, uh, at that point, when the incident happened, all the member countries were alerted. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, Ghana Navy had a ship patrolling around the right. eastern border. Right. So uh, immediately, the ship was asked Zoomed to go okay. and, and support the Togolese Navy. And then those criminals were brought to... Uh, justice. I see. So Great. if we sign this MOU, mm. I, uh, it's uh, based on what mm. I just told you, mm. uh, countries will be able to work more closely together right. and ensure that our resources are mm. better protected, uh, you know, for... So tomorrow, uh, Aliza Hotel, Yes. what time, sir? Uh, 1500. 15, uh, that's the, 3 o'clock. Yeah, 3 o'clock, okay. the program starts, mm. and all the member countries and our international partners will be there to witness the historic signing of this MOU that will provide the framework for us to conduct what mm. we call joint and combined maritime patrols and operations to safeguard our waters against right. uh, the growing criminality which is uh, Commander, happening. Thank you very much for yes. all the good work and, yes. and keep it up, sir. Yes. Thank you very much. That's Commander Yusuf Benin. He is the Acting Director, ECOWAS Multinational Maritime Coordinating Center, Zone F. And tomorrow, you know, we're signing a big agreement that will protect all of us along the west coast of Africa. But let's rant now. We're hitting the streets, I'm sure. And there's a new acting IGP, Mr. Uh, Opom Buenu, who is acting instead of Mr. David Asantia Pietu, who has been asked to proceed on immediately uh, uh, pending his um, re uh, what, uh, retirement from active service. What are your expectations of the new IGP? Take a listen. <laughs> 